putting an end to identity politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Memo to the White House, you cannot avoid us. Stop trying to dodge us. This briefing needs to begin. Uh, it was supposed to begin an hour and 15 minutes ago, and then it was supposed to begin 25 minutes ago. There was a lot to talk about. Welcome, everybody. That was CNN threatening Donald Trump. You can run, but you cannot hide. Donald Trump's been all over the news. CPAC, there was more media than you could shake a stick at at CPAC. You, you won't have a press conference with us. Where have you been? You're late. Do you know Barack Obama? He put the, there's a thing called CP time, CPT, color people time. Barack Obama was historically late. I'm talking about so much so it just became the norm. I remember joking about it early on saying, man, let a brother get the presidency. And the first thing he does is make people wait. He lives up to the stereotype of colored people time. And Trump, I don't know who was supposed to be out there, but you can run. But you, ooh, what is Trump afraid of CNN, the, the fake news network? Come on, people, please. What, what, what is he waiting on? He needs to come out and explain this Russia thing. No, he doesn't. It's over. These people, they don't. You know, what's sad when people don't even realize it's over. I don't know if you've ever been in a fight like this where, you know, somebody wants to fight you and you're like, look, I don't want to fight. You just leave me alone. Leave me alone. You just try to walk away. And finally, you, it was, it's a fight and you just pow and you knock them out. If you've ever knocked somebody out fast, you know what I'm talking about. There are people listening to my show who are friends of mine in the martial arts or just good boxers or whatever. You've done this. You knock somebody out and they hit the ground and they get up and they can't believe they were out. Maybe you've seen a fight. If you haven't been in one, you've seen a fight like this where the guy's been knocked out. He's like, what? What happened? And they're like, you got knocked out. I didn't. No, I did. What are you talking about? And they're picking him up. And the other guy's going to walk away. And he's like, no, you get back here, man. You, you, this isn't over. This is not over. And you're going, everybody around him's going, yeah, it's over. It's over, buddy. <laughs> you know, it, it's over. <laughs> I mean, um, unless you just enjoy embarrassment, it's over. You get that lippy, go, blah, 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 and just pow, pow, pow. and you and let me tell you, <laughs> having been on the 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 end that delivers the the beating, where you go, you've bothered me so much that I'm just gonna have to take care of business, and it's it's over like that, lights out, and and it's you know most people get it, but I'm saying occasionally, and it happens in the ring more often than anywhere because. You know, you've, you've been a trained fighter and you some you know you think you're going to get the best of a guy and, you know, they call them flash knockdowns. Boom, you get knocked down. Well, in this case, knocked out. And then, you know, somebody wakes you up and you're like, what? What happened? And they're trying to tell you. And you, it, you, you blanked out for 15 seconds or 10 seconds or whatever it is. And you think, game on. What, what are you talking about? Why is everybody leaving the ring? Fight's still going on. No, it's over. Folks, it's over for the Democrats. What I just described has happened. The media has been knocked the blank out. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump's knocked them out. If you don't believe me, how much credibility do you give them? May I answer for you? Very little. You don't give the media much credibility. You're like, whatever. So they're knocked out. Do you give a uh, who? The Democrat Party, how much credibility do you give Adam Schiff? How much credibility do you think Chuck Schumer has right now? Now, are they going to continue to fight their little battles? The Supreme Court sent back Donald Trump's uh, thing on DACA to the states, to the uh, courts. And what do you think is going to happen? If I were Donald Trump, I'd just issue an executive order that supersedes DACA and say, now what are you going to do? If you can do one, you can't do that. I don't know how it's gonna what it's gonna happen, but it'll be done on a technicality. And eventually, this is gonna end up right where it is, and you're gonna know what you're gonna be telling me, Kevin. They were knocked the blank out. It doesn't matter what the policy is; it doesn't make sense. Hardly anything these people do makes any sense at all logically, and it's ju all it is is delaying the executioner. Go ahead, folks, have your fun can't avoid you you want to you want to have some fun here's what msnbc had to say about donald trump as it pertains to the russians 
actually demand that the president of the United States lead a response to the most serious attack on an, on a, on an American democracy. Uh, that's what leadership is. That's what we expect of our president. And that's the kind of uh, responsibility that the president has, not merely to acknowledge things that are happening. That is the that is the minimum, which I think yeah. your clips illustrate uh, Trump has not cleared. Uh, we actually expect him to mobilize an effective response, and he's not done that. In fact, not only has he not done that, he actually has tried to roll back uh, or at least flirted publicly with rolling back the punishments right. that the Obama administration put in place against Russia for interfering in our election. Exactly the opposite of what the White House press secretary was saying to reporters, which is incredible. What I find incredible is the question, Joe, what does Russia have on Donald Trump? I mean, it must be be fantastic. Okay, first of all, it must be huge. It must be so dirty. It must be just unbelievably just wrenching to him to think that they are holding this information about him that they have on him and they just at any point could drop it if he says the wrong thing. It must drive him nuts. Is this what do they have on here? Is this the opening of Saturday Night Live? No, what do they have? <laughs> Did I get Can transported you to that set? Can you imagine he's Did being I? driven Hello? crazy? I? Literally. What do I meet him? What do they have on What does him? he say? <laughs> uh, so, first of all, I, I want to, first of all, I need to talk about it really You quickly. say what you said last night. On, you said, what do they have on, on him? Sarah, like, be- even Joe Scarborough didn't even want to answer that. He was like, I told you that as a joke. You know, it's like foreplay or something. I don't know what he was talking about because it, even that was just too crazy for him. He couldn't even respond. What a unbelievable. And and so, you know, you listen to these clowns looking for things, supposedly looking for ways to connect Donald Trump. I, I was early in the broadcast. I talked about some guy who's gave every reason why Donald Trump will serve out seven years as president of the United States and change politics forever. And he's. He's telling us 2018 is going to be a bad year for Republicans. How so? I'd love to know how so. Let me tell you where this all circles back to, folks. It all circles back to Barack Obama. You're watching things happen. You don't know they're happening, but they're happening. We did a story earlier about Michelle Obama and the book deal they got. It used to be $60 million. Now they're saying it's north of $30 million. Well, what is the number? Are they half as, as invested in it? I've asked questions throughout the broadcast today. Who do you think is going to campaign with Obama? Who do you think is going to take his, say, bring in Barack Obama? Can can you name me one politician on the left who says, I want to willingly have Hillary Clinton come campaign on my behalf? Name me one. There's going to be a bunch of them running. Who? Here's what Nunez had to say about Barack Obama and where all this Russia stuff is going to end up. So just a few facts that people forget. One, we did it. We went through a whole. We did a reset. Uh, uh, we hit a reset button uh, with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> then we said that we were going to pivot to Asia because we were going to be friends with the Russians. We went through a whole European infrastructure consolidation process of our military installations across Europe. We abandoned a lot of our capability in the North Atlantic in order to track Russian subs. We actually had the President of the United States who said on a hot mic to uh, the Prime Minister of Russia at the time, uh, didn't know the mic was hot, and said, hey, uh, just tell Vladimir that I have to wait till after the election. That was the President Obama who said that. At the same time, Mitt Romney, in 2012, said that Russia was a, was a grave threat, and, and President Obama had that great line. It was really funny at the time. All the media laughed about it, made fun of Romney, uh, that, the, you know, that the 80s wanted their foreign policy back, something like that. Everybody laughed. So who created this Russian threat? Who, it, was, it was the last administration who put us in this position. But... But here's the, here's the kicker to all of this. It culminated finally with, with great frustration on my part, where in April of 2016, just months before the election, I came out and said on national television that the biggest intelligence failure since 9-11 was our failure to understand Putin's plans and intentions. This was in April of 2016. 
Folks, a lot of bad things happened on the left. Welcome back. Kevin Jackson here. That's who you're listening to. The Kevin Jackson Show, KJRadio.com. Donald Trump tweeted this on the Democratic FISA memo. A lot of bad things happened on the other side. What they did was really fraudulent, and someone should be looking into that. And by someone, I mean you know who. Let me tell you something, folks. You have finally gotten it right. And you're being vindicated every single day. You should take pride in the work that you've done in eradicating this crooked government and draining, helping Donald Trump drain the swamp. But we got a lot more work to do. I got to leave it there today. He won't stop until he's the top rated radio talk show host in America. What kind of weird competitive freak are you? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.